what a time to be an adolescent. Good morning, everyone. I'm Carson Shear. And I'm Jessica Horton. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Good Morning, morning Marietta. Marietta. Today is February. Friday, February 1st, which is also known as National Wear Red Day. National Wear Red Day kicks off American Heart Month and represents awareness of heart disease in men, women, and children of all ages. It's also the beginning of Black History Month, and our school has a lot of activities lined up to help us celebrate the significant con contributions of African Americans to society. That's right, and we will also take a look at one such contributor in just one moment. But we will start today, as every day, with the Pledge of Allegiance and Moment of Silence. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and you may be seated. As we mentioned, there will be a lot of fun and informative events going on this month to honor the lives of great contributors to our country. One way we want to do that is to show many biographies of some of these extraordinary people. Today we bring you a look at the man who created Nike, Michael Jordan. Oh, um, yes, Michael Jordan didn't create Nike. We'll agree to disagree. Whatever. Michael Jordan was born on February 17, 1963, in Brooklyn, New York, but grew up in Wilmington, North Carolina, and was a natural athlete from a young age. Jordan earned a basketball scholarship to play for Dean Smith at the University of North Carolina, and he had an immediate impact in 1982, hitting the game-winning shot in the national championship game for the Tar Heels against Georgetown. In his junior year, Jordan decided to leave college to enter the NBA draft and joined the Chicago Bulls in 1984. During the same year, he also won a gold medal as part of the U.S. basketball team at the Los Angeles Olympic Games. When Michael Jordan joined the Bulls as a rookie, they weren't a very good team, but he changed that. Playing with Michael Jordan on the Bulls, he was Elvis Presley, and then we were the Beatles. It was a traveling, unbelievable, well-organized circus that everybody wanted to see. Jordan won his second Olympic gold medal as part of U.S. basketball's dream team in 1992. The next year, Jordan's father was tragically murdered, and Michael Jordan shocked everyone by retiring from basketball. Instead, Jordan tried his hand at professional baseball and played for the minor league Birmingham Barons. This lasted a year before he returned to the court to play for the Chicago Bulls. Wasn't flashy except on court. He didn't try to make you look bad, he worked hard. I think he's the greatest player in the 90s. From 91 to 98, it was MJ. That was eight years, no one, no one can touch him. That stretch was unbelievable. Six championships in eight years is amazing. Michael Jordan was ranked as the world's highest paid athlete in 1997. I didn't see anything in there about him inventing Nike. They must have edited that part out, you know, like they edited the snow out of the forecast earlier this week. Ah, nice segue. Let's check in with Barry for our three-day outlook. Today will be mostly sunny with a high of 58 and a low of 35. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny with a high of 60 and a low of 43. And Sunday will have AM showers with a high of 60 and a low of 44. Thanks, Barry. Now it's time for our daily announcements. It is Friday, and that means it's time to draw for this winners of this week's perfect attendance and no tardies to third block prizes. <clears throat> the envelopes, please. Ah, yes, perfect. 
The one for perfect attendance, which is zero absences and zero tardies, goes to. Thank you, drum roll. <laughs> Laura Rosas. That is for perfect attendance and zero tardies. Next. Ah, yes. Uh, third, black, third block class competition goes to, um, let's see here. Ah. Miss Meyer. Meyer. Yes, Miss Meyer. Congratulations to Miss um, Meyer's class and Miss Laura Rosas. Please see Miss O'Meara for your prize. There are four more weeks to the MHS Teen Summit, the other side of normal. Please come to the Marietta Student Life Center on Lower B Hall to sign up. If you have a signed permission packet, please submit it to B108 or B117. For more information, please see Dr. Roberts in B108. Is that all we have for today, Carson? Uh, negative, Jess. Today on Good Morning Marietta, we start a new segment called Laffy Taffy. Laffy Taffy. What's that? Well, it's where we ask students around our school for some pretty uh, corny and, you know, pun jokes to see what mm. their responses are. Sounds interesting. Let's take a look. Hey guys, welcome back to today's episode of Laffy Taffy. Right now, we're about to go see if students at Marietta know why Where's Waldo Wears Stripes. Why does Where's Waldo wear stripes? I don't know. No, I don't. No, I don't. Isn't it like a camouflage thing? Oh, I don't know why. I never even seen Where's Waldo. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not sure. Why does he wear stripes? He like a zebra. He hiding. I don't know. Not a clue. Not a clue. No. Why does Where's Waldo wear stripes? I don't know. He likes the style. So it's easy to find them. Because stripes are cute on some people. I don't wear stripes, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> because stripes make you look thick. And the answer to the age old question is because he doesn't want to be spotted. <laughs> so he won't be spotted. <laughs> Good. Good. Good so we won't be spotted. Ah, uh, good one. Sorry, I really don't know how to react to that. But it's in a crowded space, so you will recognize, right? I don't know anything about graham crackers. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess that's a good reason. <laughs> that's pretty good. I'll use that. Is that it? That's it. That's the joke. Oh, I got it. I got it. That's that's that's, that's pretty fine. I'm a I have to use that on my mom. Oh. <laughs> pretty good joke there, Sydney. Probably wouldn't have guessed that one. I know me either. That was a little tricky. Can't wait for next week's. Is that all we have for today? Uh, well, it appears so. So, from Blue Devil News, I'm Carson Shearer. And I'm Jessica Horton. And, and we, we hope, hope you have, have a good morning, morning Marietta. Marietta.